Y254 Imagine A very good evening to you. I hope you've had a lovely day today. And thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now this day is the last Thursday. It's the first Thursday of the last month of this year. And I want us to reflect on the past 11 months. Some think it's been slow and so many things have taken place. I want us to look back for the past 11 months since January started, as we're starting December and we're winding up the year. How far have we come? What about our goals and resolutions? Because when we start the year, we always talk about our New Year resolutions and the goals that we're going to achieve. Have you actually pursued any of these resolutions? So that is our discussion today. And joining me live in studio today is Kruger Gash, who is an artist, a musical artist. Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you, Manze, for having me. It, you're welcome. And it's such I'm, a pleasure. I'm very honored. Yeah, you see he's ready and uh, I want us to talk about his personal journey and the progress that he's made since the beginning of the year to this last month of 2023. I also want to hear from you. So, Wokiwa Nyumbani, go on our social media platforms, which is at Y254TV. Tell me, how has the year gone so far? What have you accomplished? Have you really achieved some of the New Year resolutions that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year? And we will sample those comments and those opinions as we progress with the show. You can also find me on my personal pages, which is at Cheryl Blessing. And you can share any information that you have, any questions that you have about how to set your New Year resolutions for next year and how to look at and assess the progress that you've made. So uh, thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254 TV. And I think we'll just get into the discussion. We're waiting for one of our other guests who I'm sure will be here any minute. I'm going to come to Jamia, Nairobi. Jamia, Nairobi is crazy. It's crazy. Konza Gioni. Yeah. Hey, we're just hoping he comes in soon. And uh, I guess we'll start with you. You can tell us what do New Year resolutions in Amanisha Nini Kwako. When people will talk about making New Year resolutions, what does that personally mean for you? Uh, to me, New Year resolutions is planning for, for what's to come and being ready like for the unknown peer. So, and getting it well written, unajua ninini unafaa kufanya in the coming year. And a goals zako, you set them right. Vitu zanyo unafaa kudu achieve kenyo unataka. Yeah, I like that definition. Cause ni vitu zanyo unataka kuachieve throughout the year. Sure. Unajua kuna watu nyona se manga, I want to go to the gym, I want to be fit, I want to maybe even get a new job. So people have different resolutions. Where personally, you can say mwaka 2023. <laughs> what are some of the resolutions that you made? So, honestly, seze kumbuka zote, but some of them zile kwa kuvisit some media houses ka hapa, eh, to amplify my craft, like, to make sure I'm being listened out there, na pia hapa locally, pia na kubalika. Mm -hmm. uh, at least add to my catalog some more music. Na pia ni spend more time with the people I love and farm and get the money pia. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also certainly very important because <coughs> when you're in media houses, unapata exposure. Mm -hmm. And then at awe mwenyewe, unalan as an artist how to have stage presence, do interviews. True. Not although you're talking about just growing your catalog and growing as an artist. You need some of, some of uh, the best things that we do because I think at the beginning of every year, we do not want to be the same as last year. This is my year. <laughs> so it's it's nice that you've said that. But the way you've mentioned writing yeah. down. Yeah. 
siku andika. Eh. Na some of them haziku hazija happen when I intended them to do. Mm. So upon the aspect ya ku write things down in Angelia. Yeah. Now I know better. <laughs> and uh, we hope we'll do better cuz I'll do better. Yeah. Get to nearly realize I think nililana a few years back people write down or they make vision boards. I don't know if you're aware of that. People sit at home and then they make vision boards in Yanona. Let me cut some photos of what I want and write some quotes and uh, maybe words in use to inspire like success. Maybe if you want to grow as an artist. So, yondo maybe na said yanga watu pia ku keep track of the progress that they've true, made. True. Yeah. I love pia I read somewhere if Uneza write down your problems vitu zenye una feel zinakusumbua you have solved half of them nice so writing down your resolutions inakusaidia pia ku track your progress eh ni achieve number 1 ni achieve number 2 what should i do ndio nifanye venye inafaa kutokea mm, i like so that it's, it's better you put it down on paper na Make sure you're reading it every now and then, Monday. Yeah, and do you cook it peer in check? Yeah. Yes, you just care about yours. How who can dika you've solved half of your problem? Maybe <laughs> you should also start that. You should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when is that briefly about your musical journey? Umeniambia you started in 2018 and then got serious in 2020. How do you feel like him worker specifically ume grow as an artist? Mm, the growth this year me kuwa. <laughs> Manze, and I like it. So, yeah, I started in 2018. I used to do like the hardcore dancehall. Mm. Na reggae reggae pale. I'm a writer. I, ri I, I write music. I'm a nice. songwriter. So, with time, ni me grow like artistically. Ni me learn pia ku rap. <laughs> it's something I've picked along the way. So, mm. 2020, Oh, 2023. I'm a fake and some. Ni me skizo places in Jai Fikiria neza fake. Like I've seen my music travel places, manze. And we like that. And hopefully, ni kwa po nyuma na ifuata. Amen. To knock say dia kumani festi opia. Cause una joy feel like sound yako inezenda global before we monyo kumi fika apo. True. Then ina ku introduce your art introduces you to the world and then sasa even the venue una jipata uko in spaces that maybe ten years ago five years ago you will never have dreamed of being there. So, 2023 niki compare na the previous year 2022. Ah. I'm a grow. Actually, I checked my Spotify recap. Nice. Nah. We want progress. Yeah. Kila so time. I think in 2022, I had I, I, my music was streamed in like 50 something countries. Oh, this impressive. year, this year, I'm 90 something. Ah, that's so good. Isn't that growth? That's growth because yeah. that's more than 40. <laughs> And unajabado inaendelea, because you're still putting out your craft and you're still improving yourself as an artist. So that's really, really nice. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Manze. So I've also worked on my networking skills. Yeah. Communication pia na So 2023, imeni funza a lot, Manze. Um, now, as we were saying at a earlier, I feel like uki feel ni kama ume grow, ni kama ume learn something, then that is the whole essence of you living life. Because yeah. akuna aja useme, uku the same na venue likuwa last year at a time like this. Mm. So the fact that you're saying you've seen the, the difference between at the beginning of the year and right now, you need something that it's very commendable. Yeah. Nata is on the wrapped year the whole year on Spotify, YouTube. No, no, excuse me. Almost every platform is on wrapped. Uh, actually, the YouTube is on the wrapped. Eh, yeah. in a side idea. Yeah, the boom is on the wrapped. Which is good. And in a side idea, track growth. Yeah. Eh, like, if you're given figures, you compare na the previous figures. Mm. Ina kusaidia kujua mali unaenda, mali umetoka. Mm. Na hiyo pia ni another important thing. Kuangalia the statistics. True. Juu tumeongelea writing down uh, your resolutions and your goals. Because mm. uneza track. Maybe uneza angalia every few months useme. E hey, nimesha achieve hii, nime accomplish hii. And then una, una tea cookie. Kwa, ni kama ni checklist. Lakini like si you know that feeling of taking the checklist. Yeah. Vitu me achievements. Ni very satisfying. 
<laughs> I think personally pia nimekuwa naangalia my resolutions every quarter of the year ama every month. Mm. Naangalia niko like okay nini imebaki? Because we have like one month. When you listen but there's some things that you haven't accomplished. I think one month is we have about three or four weeks left. And that's still time. You can still pursue some things. Nike kata una push forward in end of 2024, isn't it? Na sikia last minute you save a month here. Exactly. Joko naza kusema tie mwaka ishaisha. It's never late. It's never late. It's never late. Yeah. So, kwa personal life yako pia because you've talked about your professional life. In your personal life, when you looked at yourself January, say you kaina um se when you lianza January 1st versus right now. Kuna growth. Do you see any difference in who you are as a person? Yeah, definitely there is. Eh, na sasa unaweza sema like what's something that unapenda about imwaka? Like growth gani yenye ume notice in your personal life? Ama lesson gani yenye ume learn hii mwaka uko like eh let's run with this into the next year. So imwaka ni melan ku treasure life, ku treasure watu wenye napenda. Mm. Eh alafu pia ku ku control like ku ku keep peace of mind na vitu zenye siezi control zenye naweza. So Napenda vinyo una drop gems. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you have wisdom because honestly una just sengine what una freak out about things that are out of our control. True. To say vinyo last year una sema you had uh, 54 countries walikuwa with listeners and what not. So kianza kupani kukwe like, ini kama ni Afrika peke, so what about Asia, Europe, unajua, yu ni kitu wezi control. So what you can control is improving yourself and improving your craft so that you put yourself out there. So that's a very good lesson and I hope ukiwa nyumbani, iyo ni lesson nenye umechukua, takama si personal kwako, I hope you may absorb from this conversation. So, yeah, yeah, so ku let go of vitu zenye wezi control actually na contribute a lot for to kukuwa na good a sane mind somehow eh yeah. na pia una keep in check pia na watu wenye unapenda mm. mm. which is important na venya to me bring up your point let's talk about your friends like your close circle of friends because mm-hmm. as an artist i expect you have fans and so many fans, people who think they know you, but wanna jua you as the artist. They don't know you personally. True. So within your friend groups and your circles, yeah, close friends, una feel ni kama kuna difference. Like has your circle grown? Namu ime ime shrink. Kuna difference between when you mwaka ilianza versus now. Personally, I think in a circle ime shrink, but in the outreach, mm. in a grow bigger. Mm. Uh, like as i said me me work on my networking skills communication na watu so i think it makes me a better person yeah so that's it that's really good and do you think kuna benefit unazo watu nasemanga your networks are the people you know and your friends yeah yeah kuna benefits first of all singe kuwa pa if sija jua kuongea na watu wawili watatu vizuri that's true eh uh, so you ni poa. I like mm. when you nasema una do watu wengi pia we fixate on uh, growing our friendships and having so many friends ndio useme mimi najulikana niko popular mm. but then we have to differentiate between acquaintances, colleagues, fans yeah, yeah. and true friends who will be there for you na wanakujua personally. Na hiyo ni one thing something else pia ni melani mwaka. Mm. Eh hey, like ku nito ku, ku sort the type of people in my life najua yeah eh wewe i can call you talk about this ivo uni biz uni beshte mm. uni family eh and i think you need peer lesson important ya ku carry because as as we get older as time in a songa you can't call everyone your friend true true mm, kuna mtu mwenye unaweza mpigia ukiwa in trouble na hata pull up maybe hata atashika simu but kuna umse mwenye labda hata kwa melala amechoka but a pick up na aseme na kuja i'm here for you so na, i like that lesson that you've also learned the importance of ku categorize watu mm. na umesema pia you you taking time you putting in time and getting to know people and investing in your relationships yeah 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 you in a play pia kwa like romance ama ni friendship tu alafu i think romance 
sijui sana about the romance <laughs> side of that mm. but one thing najua watu ndio mali True. like that's the biggest lesson neza someone in my lane mwaka mm. eh i like that like i really like that you might have all the money lakini if how relate vizuri na watu you, th- you think should be moving slow yeah mm. and that's important unajua unaweza kuwa billionaire but hauna friend hata mmoja yeah. so you don't have anyone to even share hizo joy na pesa with labda utakuwa na watu wenye nakuja for the party na for the money need, we, sometimes we need people to vent to yeah cuz yeah. you know especially kama mwanamme unaweza kwa mwanamme before the show there was <laughs> our camera operator sound operator alikuwa anasema nilimuuliza kwa jana niambia na film gonjwa and then the other guys were saying wake kama mwanamme ufai kusema hivyo <laughs> <laughs> so unaitaji boys mwenye unaweza ongea nayo ukiwa na shida or something si ndio eh that's mm. why you need to know your circle nani ni nani yeah alafu pia not everyone a comment kuwa kuna wewe kwa jani like in your journey true eh na hapo ndo ina come ku identify your people ndio unafa sasa ujue the difference between acquaintance na close friends si ndio eh. Mm. Alafu this this one Bob Marley quote pia nimecheck about people. Mm-hmm. Na friendships. So Bob Marley alikuwa anasema truly everyone will disappoint you. Yeah. But you have to find the ones who are what journey suffering for a market Yeah. It's like a cause. Yes. You have to choose a cause that you're willing to die for. So like ukijoy hivyo watu watu like CC people to change sana na nini but yeah. once we um, um, make peace na um to ni ni ako inside huyo ako inside hautakuona get stressed at you huyo alikucheza huyo akufanya huyo yeah. amefanya hivi eh Uta, utajua how to separate you know, this eh, people you in know. your life eh. i like that so right now we're just getting into uh, uh the the progress and the life ya kruga gush kruga gush <laughs> we're just getting into the conversation we want to understand imwaka venye nenda kuisha how are your goals and your resolutions going on una feel ni kama uko na growth or are you still at the same place that you were at last year so i want us to take a very very short break stay tuned to y254 tv and meanwhile enda kwa social media platforms zetu at y254 share comment yako kama uko na swali ya kuuliza kama uko na opinion utuambie experience yako imwaka and the difference una feel between you in january and you today on 7th december so stay tuned we're going on a short break but we'll be right back Y254 Imagine